Hello everyone, in this video we tell you the information regarding photosystem or light harvesting complexes which are present in the thylakoid membrane and the stroma lamellae responsible for the trapping of light energy and its conversion into two energy units or the energy currency ATP as well as NADPH. Now, where is this photosystem present? I have already told you in the thylakoid membrane and the stroma lamellae. What is thylakoid membrane and stroma lamellae? These are structures found within chloroplast. Well, we must save another video for the topic of chloroplast and its detailed structure. Coming to the photosystems, a photosystem has two parts, antennae and the reaction center. Every Chloroplast has four types of photosynthetic pigments, I mean the main types, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotenoids and xanthophyll. Chlorophyll B, carotenoids and xanthophyll are not the primary photosynthetic pigments, they are the secondary ones or the accessory ones because they trap the light energy and give it to the chlorophyll A. Now these chlor these photosynthetic pigments are arranged within a fo um, photosystem. How they are arranged? Let's see. The antennae constitutes many molecules of chlorophyll B, carotenoids, and xanthophylls. So as you can see, these hollow circles I have drawn are the pigment molecules or the antennae. Next. There is a single molecule of chlorophyll A in every photosystem. You can see this one and it's also called the reaction center. Now why it's called the reaction center? Because it's actually the center of every reaction that's taking place. These pigment molecules will absorb the light energy in the form of photons and they will transfer their energies to the reaction center. Thus, every energy will be available to the reaction center and everything that is occurring is going to occur from the reaction center. Now, the reaction center will absorb the photons and it will emit electrons because electrons will escape from their respective orbits and they will go to the primary acceptor of electrons. Well, this is also a, this step is also called a part of photophosphorylation which we are going to discuss in the next video coming to the types of photosystem we have two kinds of photosystems photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 these photosystems are not in the named in the order of the uh, manner in which they appear in the photophosphorylation or the process in which photosynthesis is occurring the light reaction of photosynthesis is occurring to make ATP they are actually named 1 and 2 on the, met on the method of their discovery so the photosystem 1 and the photosystem 2 are differentiated on the basis what wavelength of light is the maximum activity for the reaction center I mean that at which wavelength the reaction center is going to show maximum absorption and emission of electrons. In case of PS1 or photosystem 1, it is 700 nanometers, so it's also called P700. And in case of PS2, it's 600, 680 nanometers, so it's also called P680. So that's the basic differentiation of PA photosystem the meaning of photosystem, its components and the detailed structure. 